Slow Cooker Central is a website that's one of the largest slow cooking communities that we can find in the world at this stage. Uh, we started just as a Facebook group, uh, members sharing recipes. I had no idea what it was going to grow into. We now have over 2,200 slow cooked recipes there. We try to be a one-stop shop for anything that anyone could want slow cooker wise. Since the website we've gone further and released our book, the Slow Cooker Central book. We have the, the mobile app now as well. Lots of areas for slow cooking. People are finding them easy, they're building their own confidence up from the success they're having cooking these things and they can go to work or get busy during the day and dinner's taken care of. So come night time when it's stressful and the kids are going crazy, dinner's sorted. One less thing to worry about. <laughs> I just, I hope it, we keep in introducing people to such a versatile way of cooking it's something that you can just set and forget and get on with the rest of your day because we're all just as busy <laughs> it's a, a really easy recipe very popular from the website we add around about one tablespoon of plain flour then add your chicken into that bag secure the bag up but leaving some air in the bag so that you can shake it around and that will coat all of your chicken with the flour. So we add our chicken from the bag, got it nice and hot on the stove and that's one of the best things about this Breville slow cooker is that you can use it from the same pot straight from your slow cooker onto the stove. So just turn it a few times until it's nicely sealed. Straight back into the slow cooker with that insert so you don't lose any of the good flavours. On top of the chicken we're going to add some mushrooms and some onions around about 250 grams of mushrooms. I find low is best for the chicken dishes. Straight in on top of the chicken and our onion also. We're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Two cloves of garlic. We have a little pinch of salt. Same for pepper. We've got our herbs which is thyme and tarragon. Around about a quarter of a teaspoon of each one. Then we just have to add our liquids. So we've got a half a cup of liquid chicken stock half a cup of dry white wine and that's everything so what we have to do then is just give a little mix around pop the lid on and leave it cook for four hours okay so now our dish has been cooking for around about four hours so we're just going to quickly sit the chicken into a side bowl for now. And so the last stage is just to take the insert back to the hot plate to thicken up the sauce. So in this recipe we're taking your half a cup of cooking cream, adding about a tablespoon of corn flour to the cream and then pouring it straight into your sauce in the dish. Give it a stir around, a couple minutes is all it will take. What we're trying to do now is to thicken up that sauce to finish the dish so you'll have a lovely thick rich sauce. All right, so that's everything cooked. We're just going to plate it up now. A couple pieces of our chicken that we took out earlier. Some of your sauce over the top. A little bit of garnish. And that is your finished chicken fricassee. How easy was that?